YouTube, what's going on? Solutions and solutions for kids. Back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap the notification button so you know when I'm dropping more of these things. And you too can be a part of the Mighty 4K Brigade. It's um today. I'm not gonna say what day it is, because I'm doing this video a little different. Got a different concept for this one. So I'm not gonna tell you what day it is, but just enjoy it. So I'm out here at Ingram Park Mall. And I am basically on the hunt for a steal, a deal, something real I can feel. Maybe I'll be successful, maybe not. However, I'm going to leave that up to whatever the prices tell me. And it's been a minute since I've done one of these mall vlogs. Um, Y'all know I don't do the early looks in the stores and everything. It's always hilarious when you see people watching you while you're doing your vlog on your phone <laughs> wondering what you're doing you know that's why i waited to the dude over in the car I'm like what is he doing is he talking to himself but yeah i haven't done a mall vlog in full in a long time all right it's time to run the gauntlet y'all i just walked in i passed finish line past the champs and i'm um, headed to shoe piles because i got some sneakers i mean no nah, no thank you like i said all right see they make it through the gauntlet. There's one right there. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we dip into shoe piles. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. You know? They make it. So let's get into it. We are back at the house. And um, I copped a very unique sneaker. I didn't want to really get into it, but I told you all when I was walking to the car, this was a dope, dope sneaker crazy and um i just gotta get to it man so nike box black history month release and uh this this is a banger right here man but actually it's a sneaker where either you like it or you don't honestly um a lot of people aren't really feeling it but at the same time they're kind of watching their mouth because what it represents and they want to bad mouth it because it appears that it's something else you're doing it for nefarious and uh negative reasons instead of just saying hey i don't like the sneaker but people are trading lightly with this one but i like it i like the presentation it's kind of out of the norm of the normal uh thematic release that we're going on so this is the air force one let me get this out of here black history month release and it's got the nice cool bhm black history month paper going on here and this is just a crazy crazy fire sneaker man they they pulled out the stops on this one and there's so much to talk about on the shoe that hopefully i can cram it in and um not make this video too long i really don't want to make this video too long i talked about the box already nice nice looking box you got the pull out drawer box going on and we're going to throw this on the table and the the first thing that you notice on these is the mirror the the mirror on top of the toes and i'm going to put uh right here what nike said about what was the inspiration behind how they made this sneaker you got some loose uh threads going on here it talks about why they did that um a lot of the um exposed and the cutaways and things like that on the toe that that's fire right there that's the one thing that really caught me was the mirror toe now i'm going to be very honest with you all. i'm gonna be candid when i saw pictures of this sneaker i really didn't catch the loose threads at the moment i saw the color blocking first and i was kind of like hmm, those are interesting but then as i started to look at the sneaker I was like man that's that's different it looks like there's some really good premium materials on it which they are they put some good leather on here and you know a lot of times they skimp on the air force one leather but they they spared uh <laughs> nothing when it came to this besides like the little canvas mesh on here and these actually retailed at 130 a quick strike however i did get my discount so i used the uh customer appreciation discount from doing the survey somebody said the surveys were gone i, I got the 10 dollar coupon and i slapped on my 15 percent so i dropped this way under a hundred dollars and um, i'm very happy with this sneaker the sole is actually sale so if you know if you have a pair of all white air force ones um that turns yellow pretty quick well not pretty quick about two three years depending on the conditions you keep it in 
and uh, unlike most Air Force ones, they do not lace up all the way. There's no lace holes right here. Instead, you have the two right here, the two eyelets right here on the um, at the top of the toe box, and you got the um, the tongue stay right here. Then you have two laces at the top, and that's key because they added something that I thought was very unique to the sneaker that kind of like sets it off and sets it apart from a lot of other sneakers. So it came with the little bag, and normally when you see the Ziploc bag, you think extra laces. No, no, no. They gave you two shrouds to place what I believe over the laces, like that or so. Not sure. I haven't seen anyone do this. I was looking for pictures earlier, then I got busy and I stopped looking. So you have kind of like this red with blue BHM lettering on here. You have this orange with this uh, kind of aqua green lettering BHM on here. And it's, um, it's kind of like a canvas, if you will. And it came with a thematic Sharpie. You know, Nike and Sharpie got together and they created one. It's got the Nike swoosh on here. BHM is, and the name of the sneaker actually is um, the Air Force One, the Nike Black History Month. Air Force One, Unite, well, until we all went, pardon me. I'm, I'm thinking about the Chicago joints I actually have those right there that I need to do a review on. You know, until we all win that was the theme until we all win and you gotta think about that when you're talking about black history until we all win i leave you with that note dope dope sneaker man i'm gonna leave these on the turntable and let the cameras do work what you have here on this sneaker is you got a mirror reflector on it so you can look back at yourself if you will but Trust me, it's blurry. You can't do anything that you shouldn't be doing with the toe box on you. Thank goodness for that. I'm actually happy they blurred that out, so don't get any ideas, if you will. I don't know why I have to say that, but I know some people are gonna ask that or say, don't put that in the comment section, please. Let's be adults, all right? So have a gander at that. Inside, you have the Black History Month thematic colorway on the sole right there that's fire a lot of gray a lot of gray on this sneaker and when i first saw the sneaker i thought it was black but it was actually gray i said wait a minute it, it, i can't can't really tell what that is and I, i've said it countless times you all the brands or whoever's reporting on the sneaker they, they really need to use good cameras. I don't know what they're using, use an iPhone or whatever, um, some cheap device with a bad camera, but you don't really get all the details of the sneaker and um, that takes away. Someone asked me, will this mirror part right here crease? I don't know. I would like to say you would have to wear these quite a bit to crease that because this is pretty rigid from what I saw when I tried them on. And um, unlike my, my other Air Force ones, this, this is my true size, the size nine, and I still have some space. I had a performance sock on today. I knew I probably was gonna buy a sneaker, so I wore an extra thick sock to give me a better, better um, concept of how they would fit. But lots of good materials on here. The color blocking is very unique. And once again, it, this is a sneaker you have to know how to dress. If you are fashionably challenged, if you're fashion challenged, you're gonna have problems with this sneaker. You're gonna shy away from it, trust me, because of the color blocking and how they look. But if you do struggle with that, just throw on some light or dark denim, white t-shirt, black t-shirt, whatever. Um, you know, some white reverse hit, black, white, whatever. Um, no, all black will work for this. But yeah, if you're fashionably challenged and don't really wanna come up with an idea for this, you get a lot of um, multicolored polo blocking shirts right here. You can pull that off with it. Um, just let the sneaker speak for itself, basically. And that's really what it is. The, these are clearly going to catch people's eye. Either you're going to like it or you're going to hate it. And the people that hate it because what it represents, they're going to tread lightly. Trust me, it happened in the store. People are like, black it. Mm. Let me not say anything publicly because I don't want any confrontations of the verbal type or whatever. And it's a shame that's the society we live in where people know you probably shouldn't say it in the first place. But because something represents something, you know, you got to think twice. But that's the day and time we live in. 
And um, honestly, this is the first pair of Air Force Ones, uh, pure, pure Air Force Ones. And I'm, I'm not talking about the SF or anything like that. It's something they manipulated. Since I bought my, um, oh, I bought two pairs of highs that are up here. So. But I'm out of here. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And like I always say, it's not about how much you pay for the sneaker. It's why'd you pay that much? And I'm out of here. Boom. chilling until tomorrow for the show um, then we all come to find out my nephew moved back down here well moved down here so we're going to the gun range with him we're going to buck -up, buck -up, buck -up. <laughs> so my handiwork right there with the Caltech. look at him look at him look at him Done for. <laughs> Getting my Lonzo on from training day. <laughs> I'm surgical with it. So, Derek. Yes, sir. Atlanta is known for their wings, right? There's like a wing spot. I've been here several times. Yeah. There's a wing spot on every corner, it, it seems is. like. It is. It is. You got wings everywhere. Yeah. Yep, you're right. Where are you from? Baltimore originally, but I live in San Antonio now. We okay. both live in San Antonio. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's just tacos and <laughs> fajitas and margaritas. Papa right? Papa <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. You know. Yeah, Papa That's the only seafood we really got there. Slathered in sauce. It's good stuff. a gallon of Pepto before I go. <laughs> uh, she's a diehard Pep Papa Dose fan. Oh, okay. Alexander Sauce. What's that? Uh, uh, the pasta. Pasta gras. Pasta, pasta Mardi Mardi Gras. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. When was the last time since you left the city and moved on?